I am over the moon to be at the center of my native Loire Valley, home of some of the most stunning chateaux like Chenonceau and the Chateau d'Amboise. Amboise Sunday Market is a feast, like new asparagus. This local baker entertains as she serves. And the local Vouvray wine is an old favorite. But the highlight of the market is the local cheese van featuring outstanding goat cheeses. The owner, cheese master Rodolphe Le Meunier, invited me to his ripening rooms to explain the secret of his profession. My job is to, in the first day, is to buy very good cheese just after the making of. And uh, we put cheese in different uh, uh, room with different ventilation, different uh, humidity and temperature. Uh, sometimes we dry more, sometimes we not dry and uh, cheese uh, transform with creamy uh, past. Then Rodolphe gave me a master class on selecting, smelling and tasting cheeses and cream. And lastly, surprised me with a selection of most of the goat cheeses made in the region of this year's Tour de France. Okay, here I uh, made for you a um, cheese plate uh, for goat's uh, cheese from uh, Loire Valley and mm -hmm. uh, all the staple of Tour de France. Okay. Okay. Uh, cyclist, uh, beginning by Chabichou du Poitou. After they run to Pouligny, Valencé, Celle sur Cher. Couron de Touraine, Loire Valley, Middle. What a selection and all so delicious. Thank God for another glass of Vouvray. The Loire Valley is also known as the Garden of France and grows some of the best strawberries in the country. This strawberry tart with pistachio nuts is so fine. I first rolled out some sweet pastry. Line a lift out flanting with the pastry, top with foil and pastry weight to prevent the pastry from shrinking. I like to bake it in the oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. I next make a crème chantilly by beating one tablespoon of Cointreau, 30 ml of milk and 300 ml of crème fraîche until light. And mix in two tablespoons of icing sugar. I carefully spread this chantilly cream over the cool pastry shell and top generously with strawberry halves and brush the berries lightly with apricot jam. It is now fashionable to sprinkle chopped pistachio nuts around the edge. Here is one of the most popular French desserts, tarte aux fraises et aux pistaches. This is the Limousin, not far from Limoges. The region is very rural with lots of green, very hilly pastures. And tomorrow we are finding out why the beef of the region is world class.